Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and in this video I'd like to show you the interesting connection between the swatch MoMA and Malevich's Black Square. And so, topics in this video, we have quite some topics here. The first one, of course, Swatch, Starry Night, I will show you this watch in the light box. Then I have a very great book recommendation, not affiliate, very helpful and interesting read. Then I like to present you an interesting artist as well, some, some of her work. And then we have an amazing YouTube channel I want to give a shout out to, also very, very helpful. And at the end, I'd like to debate and discuss and find the connection between my Levitch's Black Square and this watch. The Museum of Modern Art in New York presented their collaboration with Swatch in March this year and I presented those six watches in my series Watch of the Week and all those six watches are inspired by paintings, by famous paintings and especially here the Starry Night painted by Van Gogh caught my attention and I thought why not buy that watch? It was sold out frequently and I realized there's a big demand and then yeah we are human beings right then you want it as well and I was really fascinated by the by the painting painted in 1889 in France and it's seen by many as a depiction of Van Gogh's insanity and the attempt to break out. And Van Gogh inspired generations of artists with his distinctive techniques, for example the fat powerful brush strokes you see also on the swatch Starry Night. You see here there are you have you have elements from the from the painting and some informations on it. I don't want to inform you now with that. Let's focus here on the actual piece. And there you have it. There you have the starry, starry night. Okay, let's zoom in and there it is. And you see typical swatch, so overall plastic, entirely made of plastic. There you have the battery, very handy by the way, easy to change, the crown, and the strap. Swatches come in different sizes, 34 millimeter case diameter and 41. And in this case I went for the 41 because I wanted to give the, the those colors a bit more room here. So case diameter is 41, height is 11, length overall 47.5 and the lug width is 20. And I will show you the watch on my wrist in a second but first let's focus on the colors and this is very interesting of course it follows the colors of the painting and Van Gogh was seen as a late impressionist impressionism they were very famous for handling the light in a new form in a brighter form if you compare this with older paintings like this one here you see the striking difference and they had also very important access to ready-made colors in the days before Impressionism, so let's say 17th century, every painter had to make his own colors or her own colors with pigments and basically oil. And here in the 19th century, it was the first time that colors were available in yeah, ready to use form. And this was very important because the Impressionists could now work in the field, so to speak. So under broad daylight and they had a lot of blue. Blue was seen as a very expensive pigment, very complicated color and when it was available they really used it heavily and that you see in Starry Night and of course then here on the watch. Also important here is that you see the brush strokes. They are very three-dimensional, at least the impression is very three-dimensional although you cannot feel here anything. But um, I think this is a very convincing texture really really convincing texture it doesn't look cheap in nature i don't know if the camera can catch this exactly but in nature it doesn't look cheap it looks pretty interesting i must say pretty interesting if you go very close then you really are under the impression that somebody has painted this with an actual brush and so yeah i like this i really really like this i mean i will not wear this watch very often i think by the way this is a plexi but I really like to possess it. I think this is a bit stupid, but yeah, that's the way people are, right? Here you have the MoMA, the MoMA writing, and yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Price for this watch was 95 euros. They're constantly sold out. I had to join a waiting list, believe it or not, and then they informed me, now we have your Swatch Starry Night. I don't know how the situation is now. I've seen this model here on eBay for several hundred euros. 
but this might be the cheap try of a or a cheap trick to grab money which isn't really the price. And one word about the quality. Um, when I think about quality, I don't think about swatch, to be honest. This is a plastic watch, relatively cheap. You cannot see flaws. This not. You had, don't have any form of, of nasty corners here. But people said that if you wear this watch frequently, then you will rub off color and some other, other, other elements here can break. And, but I've never experienced this because yeah, I've never worn a swatch over weeks, to be honest. And this model here is the most popular one of the entire series when it comes to sales. But you find there are amazing other motifs and colors. And so if you are completely in another area of art, then check them out. I think they can offer great fun on the wrist for 95 euros. And as I said, they are, can be highly collectible. And I think it's not a problem that you have a quartz watch in your collection when it's a swatch. Obviously, because it's designed to be an alternative besides those expensive mechanical movements, right? And operating the watch is like this. You have two positions. Don't, uh, don't ask me why. We have a first position. Maybe it's a ghost position for a no date which is not in existence. And you have position two then. And there you are. And it doesn't feel so cheap as expected, to be honest. Connection between crown and hands is good. And this clack is really satisfying. And you feel that it's not the cheapest construction you can buy. Okay, let's put it on the wrist. And there you are. There you are, 17 centimeter wrist, 41 millimeter case diameter, and yeah, striking colors. And imagine this on in the summertime together with a white shirt or a polo. It just looks nice. It looks yeah cheerful in a way. And so I really like the look. It doesn't look heavy or full with gravity or some meaning. It just looks like a happy, happy watch with some in a secret and so I'm really happy that I've bought this piece here. Yes and as said I've bought this watch more as an investment with a vague idea in my head let's pass it to the kids and maybe in 30 years it's the next jellyfish and they can buy themselves a nice car <laughs> with that watch but then it let me think this this knowledge around Van Gogh and then I realized I don't know much about art I should read a book. And then I went to the library and I got this book here. And this is written by Sir Ernst Hans Josef Gombrich, The Story of Art. And this is an amazing book. And I had a chance to read it in the cafe because it happened to be that my daughter has a swimming course during her holidays. And I had to bring her every morning to that swimming school. And then I had my, my hour in that cafe. And I can assure you, if you walk in a cafe with a corduroy jacket, glasses like this, art book under your arm and a nice to sew watch on your wrist I spotted there to sew then the female stuff is very very friendly very friendly but then of course the kid steps in and then it's, yeah. damn it and reading this book I came across again Malevich's Black Square painted 1915 in Russia as a fat middle finger to the art academy to the establishment to the authorities and this is what we don't know often today it's not a black square it's a fat middle finger and then i realized a bit it's a bit like punk punk music if you think about let's say glam rock or this art rock played by genesis for example and then came punk and punk punk was a big middle finger again and with punk we all know this we know that it makes no sense listen to a punk song and say then Oh, the guitar player doesn't know how to play properly a C major. He only plays three notes, but where's, where's, the, where's the big seven there? Makes absolutely no sense because we know it was a rebellion against establishment. And then I thought, maybe this is the same thing with the Swatch MoMA, with the Swatch Starry Nights and those other watches. Maybe are they are a bit rebellious because they represent the finest achievements in art and they put it on a very, very cheap plastic watch. And I think it's a bit both. It's a bit rebellion and it's a big chunk of money also. It's a bit like the Sex Pistols. They were the middle finger, they were rebellion, but they were also a big part of big business. And now let's go to the artist. Her name is Manu de Assis and it happens to be that she is my girlfriend, the love of my life my la madame if you will so and we used to visit art exhibitions and, and shows together and here you see us in the kunsthalle in hamburg 
in front of this gigantic painting and we were completely struck by the impression and by the amount of details and the craft behind it. And later on in her art studio I could experience firsthand how much preparation and how many thoughts and how many efforts go in a painting like this here, which is described by many people, I could do this myself. And I'm not so sure about that. I mean, a big cat doesn't look like this, but despite that, we can agree that this cat is pretty lively and present. And although abstract art will never be my favorite, I hold it now in high respect, and I think that's the most important thing we can achieve. Respect something without entirely understand it. And now to the shout out. I found on YouTube this great channel, Great Art Explained. And there a gentleman explains in 15 minutes a certain piece of art, a masterpiece. And he does it that you can watch those episodes without any further knowledge and it's a pleasure. And I used to watch them during workout and so it's so inspiring and interesting and 15 minutes are a great length I think. And so big recommendation, check out Great Art Explained. And now we are at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed our little journey here. And if you want to have more updates and more sneak previews, then please join me on Instagram. It's caseback underscore Tim. And now let me thank you very much for your attention and until next time.